This is a combustion analysis problem uh, for homework 01-20. Uh, it says complete combustion of a 0.85 gram sample of the unknown powder with excess oxygen produced uh, the numbers given there for grams of oxygen, grams of H2O, and grams of N2 nitrogen, and the molar mass is 149. We know that in combustion analysis, all of the carbon dioxide gets converted into carbon. So I set up a uh, molar mass to get the moles of carbon dioxide. And then there's a one-to-one -one ratio moles of carbon dioxide to carbon. This gave me my moles of carbon, which I then turned into grams of carbon. I'll need both of those later in the problem. I did a similar thing for uh, H2O. I took the grams, converted them into moles of H2O, and then there are two moles of H for every one mole of H2O. And that got me my moles of hydrogen. And I got my grams of hydrogen using the molar mass there. Now, um, from there, uh, my nitrogen was N2. And I realized that that was all nitrogen. So even though it's the same number of grams of nitrogen, it's all, uh, N2, it's also the same number of grams of just plain N which I then converted into moles of nitrogen. Good. And then I needed to find the oxygen in my sample because there are four elements, carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, and oxygen. When I did that, I took my grams of my sample, subtracted off my grams of carbon, hydrogen, and nitrogen. So those are the three elements uh, that I'd found so far. And when I did that, I got minus 0 0.00002 grams of oxygen. First off, negative grams of anything is impossible. But this number is so close to zero that I decided that it must mean within rounding errors of all this stuff up here, it must mean there are zero grams of oxygen, which means there's no oxygen in my unknown. Uh, and that was exciting. Then I collected all my moles from uh, the work up here. I divided through by my smallest number. I was thrown off by the fact that two of the numbers were the same, except nitrogen had an additional zero. Uh, so, but I fixed, I caught that and I fixed it. And so I ended up dividing through by the smaller number. I got C10, H15, and one, which is the molar has a molar mass of 149.23. And 149 was the molar mass of my unknown. That means that the, this is the empirical formula and the molecular formula. And when I looked it up, the first hit on Google was that the formula for C10, H15N, I, I couldn't put in the one, it didn't bring anything up. So just, uh, but it came up as methamphetamine. 